Hey gang, Eric here. Haven't talked in a while. How you been? Hope you're doing well. Looking beautiful as always. <laughs> oh, I've been up to a thousand and one different adventures, as always. All kinds of exciting things, winning haiku tournaments and things like that. Uh, most notable of which, I um, just came back from D.C. yesterday. I went on a little day trip. It was kind of nice. A friend of mine was having her first uh, burlesque performance. I want to go and be supportive and all that. And it was just the excuse I needed. Um, but I don't know. It was kind of it was kind of weird. I had weird feelings coming back home. This was gonna be a day trip. I was gonna go there at like four in the afternoon, arrive at six thirty, and just kind of hang out for a bit. And I decided to try to go to this uh, restaurant called Don Burry. I was so hungry when I got off the bus, man. I was tempted just to eat right there in Union Station, and, but um, which is you know kind of cool and all. But you know, when you go to another city, you think maybe you should get something that you can only get there. You know, right? Take advantage of the situation, get something uh, different. Um, and so you know, I was looking at like DC cheapest eats that don't suck. And Don Burry came up. I was like, oh, that's cool. So, but it was like a ways at like an Adams Morgan, which took a little bit to get there. But, you know, I was like, if I'm going to eat, I'm going to eat something awesome. Uh, so I went there, and there was like another line and all this waiting and stuff and like that. It was kind of a neat little place. Um, and I went to the show, Black Cat, and all that. And uh, I was going to try to just make a little day trip, come back at like my bus was leaving at 1.50 a.m. And I get home at 3.30 a.m. And I just drive home from there you know and just call it a day which would be you know a bit late a bit rough but i could sleep on the bus and all that turns out i missed my bus Oof. and so the next one leaving greyhound wasn't until nine o'clock in the morning and that was rough man there, there's something about that dark dank little greyhound tank like being in an aquarium a little box of light in the dark of a parking garage for seven hours and I was not feeling well, man. You know, I was kind of thinking, like, I needed to get out of town for a few days. But when I did, I actually got kind of depressed. I wasn't homesick or anything. A lot of factors were at play. I was really tired. I'd only gotten four hours of sleep the night before. I was up since 8 a.m. And here I was hanging out in this Greyhound tank till 9 o'clock in the morning the next day. And I hadn't slept at all. And I wasn't really sleeping there. And I think, I noticed when I get tired, that's when, like, the depression, like, really hits hard. Um, being tired really just brings out the demons, <laughs> man. Um, and I'd been drinking, which was, you know, on one hand kind of nice, because for once I didn't need a DD or anything like that. Didn't have to worry about driving home. Uh, but on the other hand, you know, it is a depressant. So I was tired and drunk, and, and, uh, I don't know, I saw my old friend. And, you know, it's nice to see her, but, like, yeah, I don't know, brings back a few little feelings, a little bit but you know you just brush that off but you know you're tired and you're drunk and you're sad and it's just like a thought about that a little bit and plus I don't know I don't know if we I got this paranoia that like or maybe it's not I don't know it has been a year so part of me thinks maybe we're just not I guess uh, connecting as well as we used to and that's always kind of sad to see happen or maybe I'm just seeing things or I don't know um but yeah, and uh, that, and I was a little disappointed because, like, you know, I kind of idolized traveling a bit, right? I put on this big pedestal, and it's like, oh, traveling's going to be, you know, give you some meaning or something like that, or some kind of fulfillment if you go off and see some places. And it hadn't. This time I just showed up, and I was tired, and I was hungry, and, you know, and I wasn't all that invigorated by it. Um, and that kind of bummed me out too, right? It's like, oh god, there's no hope. You're just going to be miserable. <laughs> right? But I don't know. It's like, I guess you shouldn't idolize things or put things on pedestals as kind of something that'll make you happy that you just need to work towards. But at the same time, that's like what having goals is, right? If you don't dream and hope for something better, then you're just accepting that there's no hope, right? <laughs> you just gotta... This misery that you feel at that moment is going to be uh, all you ever feel. And I guess some people say you should learn to be happy with what you have, but I don't know if happiness is a learned thing. I don't know. I don't know how it works. And I, I'm suspicious of the attempt to engineer it in some fashion. What you what you are left with isn't really happiness, but some kind of weird, fake Stepford wife 
forced smile with your little pieces of tape at the side of your lips. I'm like, oh, I'm happy. <laughs> right? I don't know. Um, but all that and uh, finding out I was going to be having to wait till 9 o'clock in the morning was just like the catalyst and it was crushing. And so I wasn't feeling too bad and I wasn't feeling too good in that little Greyhound drunk tank. But... I don't know, I just sat there and I wrote. And I just kind of wrote out all that stuff in my little journal. And I kind of got it out. And after I sobered up, I guess, around like 3 a.m. or something like that, I wasn't feeling that bad. I mean, I was a little, eh, I was a little eh, all the way home. And afterwards, I felt like I needed to learn something from that trip. I don't know, I felt like there was something to put into place after that. Like something had gotten jumbled and rattled. I need to figure out what am I supposed to learn from this. I, I don't believe in fate or anything, but... It just felt like there's something to some kind of character building thing happening and um, ultimately I think the trip was good I don't know I was kind of torn between just like throwing away all my projects and maybe they're not really fulfilling and all that but I, I think I really do want to go through with them at the same time so I don't know what to say I'm jumbled and I rambled on and went in round in circles and up and back just like a snake tying itself in a knot as the hero runs away with no sword <laughs> that's a little knot thing uh, so I guess maybe it's just fake growth I feel like I've grown somehow from it but I can't tell you how and really when you look at the bare bones of it I'm in the same spot as I used to still waffling between trying to make something and saying it's dumb and just kicking back and focusing on more I guess practical things just learn this web design skill set and get a job and all that instead and just spend my days watching movies and doing other people's stuff not trying to make anything that's urge is always in the back of my mind but now I also feel more invigorated than ever at the same time to do stuff or I guess not not invigorated but I guess settled in the notion or comfortable with the idea if that makes any sense like this is happening I'm going to do this like yeah so here I have gone and talked over and over and over for seven minutes talking way too long that's what's going on I came back from DC I slept for 14 hours and uh, a new dawn awaits full of new possibilities which really when analyzed look like the old possibilities it feels new that's life, I guess.